Beto O'Rourke visited the Union Hall shortly after we were there this afternoon interviewing Dave Green about being mentioned in a President Trump tweet. As President of the United Auto Workers Local 1112, Green has answered reporters' questions from all over the world, but it was a live, nationally televised interview yesterday with Fox News that caught the attention of President Trump. Hey guys. Dave Green arrived at the Union Hall around 3 p.m. after a day working inside the plant, something union presidents are required when the number of workers falls below 250. You know, it's good to get your hands dirty. We don't want handouts. We just want a fair day's work okay. for a fair day's pay. Yesterday, Green appeared on Fox News, responding to a presidential tweet from Saturday stating General Motors must get its Lordstown, Ohio plant open fast. I'd like to hear him support the American Cars, American Jobs Act. I'd like to hear him talk about ways policies can be changed. Which prompted a tweet from the president mentioning Dave Green by name, telling him to get his act together and produce, stop complaining and get the job done. Green learned about the tweet from a friend. Yeah, just a little concerned, right? I mean, I haven't uh, really tried to provoke the president. And Dave Green wasn't going to provoke him now. I'm not going to get in a, 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 a battle of words with the President of the United States. During his remarks today, Green did not criticize the President. Look, I don't take it personally. Uh, Donald Trump didn't close or unallocate our location. General Motors did. Um, the union hasn't done this. General Motors has. As he told Fox News viewers, he would like to see better policies for manufacturing companies. And that's the Senate and the Congress, and they all have to work together to get those policies passed to make, make it better and easier uh, for corporations to do business here. Green was asked if he had heard from the president or anyone from the White House since yesterday's tweet. No, I hope not. Um, I haven't really been answering my phone. I just let it go to voicemail a lot, so um, I, haven't, I haven't gotten a voicemail yet, no. Last night, President Trump also tweeted that during a conversation the president had with GM CEO Mary Barra, she blamed the UAW for shutting down the Lordstown plant. Dave Green doesn't believe that's true, reiterating that the UAW didn't unallocate the plant. General Motors did.